Okay, welcome back to Zenless. So, a few things have happened since last week's video. Um, me and my family went to Disneyland and stuff, right? And I got sick. <laughs> this is my first day of feeling relatively better. But if I don't sound that good during parts of this, or go quiet, take a drink, stuff like that. That's why I am just, like, getting over being sick, you know. Um, another thing, though, that I would like to point out is... Zen the Zone, I, I have a feeling Zen the Zone is going to be the gacha game that breaks me into actually spending money. Simply because of the fact that so far, every single S-rank character that I have pulled for so far in Zen the Zone, that being both Ellen and... What's your name? Again. again. Ready and wait. One, huh? Is something the matter? Juan, right? I have pulled for both of them. And as you can clearly see here, I didn't get either of them. This one I'm particularly mad about because I did pull an S rank. But it was this piece of shit. You know? Um, now he here I am with Jane, right? 19 searches left for a guaranteed S rank. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm literally actually considering coming down here and spending 30 fucking bucks. <laughs> and I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> Hence why I will actually be recording this and the next two weeks videos in one day. That way one, hopefully, I can get caught up with the main story quicker. Because right now I still haven't finished chapter one. And I believe up to chapter three has been released. So I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> but also, so that I can get as many of these here as possible. So that hopefully, I don't have to spend money. Okay? So we'll be continuing right where we left off in the last Zenless video. And getting back to this stuff here. I swear to god that this is more side stuff. Like, this is one thing I, I do kind of complain about when it comes to the Zenless story, is that it mixes in doing just off-topic side stuff with progressing the story. And I don't really like that, because I like, because, you know, I'm, I'm making videos on this, right? I'm making videos on the story for this. So if I don't know, like, because then there's points where, like, I don't know if the mission I'm going to be going into is side stuff or actual story stuff so then i just hold off right and then end up like cutting a lot of of the uh Ready for combat. video out because it's just a bunch of side stuff you know what if i don't want to equip that on her though but what if I want to equip it on my life? Is it work time? For a mission? Take me along. If you need help, call me anytime. Sure, guys, for the in the background, me coffee. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffling too. That's again side effect of me just coming over over. Uh, hopefully, a cold. <laughs> Nothing more. Um, mixed with as also mixed with um, my allergies acting up, and because of the medicine I'm taking, I can't take my allergy medicine and the other medicine at the same time. So I'm I'm sorry, guys. You're just gonna have to deal with a slightly nasally voice. And the occasional sniffing.
Okay. Could we hurry this up? You're about to end your immersive storytelling. You cannot complete missions of other types while in this mode. Okay. Fine by me. I need to do the story in this video anyways. Oh, and yeah, so guys, if uh, everything turns out correctly, um, if everything turns out correctly, after the next two weeks videos, that third week should actually be, uh, my first. Them to have so many new movies. If we'd known, oh, it's this cutscene. I'm slagging. It's this. It's this well, cutscene. Since our other business is starting from scratch again. <laughs> Our revenue has taken a major hit. I know this cutscene. They, they teased the this like very seriously. early on. Yeah, that's true. But we had a three weeks from now should be the first um Sora Online Fractor Daydream movies, video. Bell, I'm just picking what's popular among movie buffs. Mm, popular among movie buffs, really? Even though they're all documentaries and artistic films. Well. It's just, those are the kinds of films people want. They help people handle the pressure of living in New Eridu. People aren't that soft. <laughs> Last time I listened to your suggestions. It should be my turn to pick movies now. Hey, we discussed it already, didn't we? Oh, that's what you call discussing? More like leading me by the nose. Our stocking plan should really be revisited. You know, so I think I mentioned this in last week's video. <clears throat> no, thank you. But last Sunday, I believe, by the time you guys are seeing this, last Sunday, um, would have been my birthday, so... Just, just pointing that out. Also, by the time this comes out, Jane's gonna be gone, so... I will say this. My current plan, right... Is Looks like we have cause, is that the Joker? <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't look like it'd be the so, Joker. <laughs> the stocking plan stays the same. Next time, well, let's deal with this first. <laughs> well? So wise. Let's just say we do a little change up. Wait, when did you? How about you stay here and take care of the customer, dear brother, and I'll go take care of getting new stock. What? You're going alone? Wait, Belle! Don't worry. I'll choose something popular. Good luck with the store! Anyway. Um. Anyway, though. But, uh. Yeah, so currently. Just a little thing. I think I mentioned this before as well. But just a little thing is. While I will admit I have bought stuff in Genshin and stuff right I have done so with gift cards given to me and therefore I don't technically count it as my money <laughs> you know like I, I count my money as me putting in my debit card information and paying that way you know or me buying a gift card myself and stuff right so while technically I have spent money on this I have not spent my money on it on any gacha game so far and I'd like to keep it that way so what I'm hoping is the like you got you guys won't really know this um until next week's video maybe um because like the net again the next two weeks I'm all recording this week and the next two weeks I'm all recording right now by the time this video comes out Jane is gonna be gone so Maybe by next week's video. I don't know if I'm going to be editing it before I figure this out or not. If I'm editing it after, you guys will know whether or not I got Jane or not, for starters. And second of all, what I'm hoping for, right, 
is that I get some PlayStation gift cards for my birthday and then spend that. <laughs> uh, man. Like, so far, there has been four characters that have nearly broke me. One was Arlequino in Genshin Impact, nearly broke me. I literally got, I literally finally got one version of her a couple hours before her banner ended. So unfortunately, no, I did not get her weapon too. Um, there was, Acheron was going to be a tempting one, but I did get her, so, so ended up not being tempting. So the next tempting one was Yinlin in Weathering Waves. After that was Ellen in in Zenla Zone here, and now Jane. Four characters that have very much almost tempted me to spend money on a gacha game. Meant spend my money on a gacha game, I'll say. Because the other times I spent money, I didn't really spend money just flat out buying poles. I did that um almost like a almost like that. Uh, bundle thing or whatever in Genshin where where for a certain number of days I log in and get um, primo gems and stuff you know I went for the long term rather than the short term <laughs> which by the way I recently just on my own because I don't do because I don't do videos on the continuance missions in in Star Rail I recently played all the way through all the released um, continuous missions right now. Um, I'm just mainly talking here to try and fill in the gaps of all, the, all this honestly boring stuff going on in the background right now. Um, and I'm going to be pulling for Fei Zhao when she comes out in a day or two now from recording this. She'll be out by the time you guys see this, obviously. But a day or two for me recording this is when she comes out. I'm going to be pulling for her. In fact, I did a, um... I did one of those, uh, sorter things for Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. I'll put, I'll put both on screen here. First, the Star Rail one. This is my, like, top Star Rail characters. Number one and two come as no surprise to me. Sorry about that coughing. Um, um, mainly because they, they are like by far my favorite. All my I, I knew those were my favorite characters so far in Star Rail. And as you can see, their number four is Fe is Feja. So I'm gonna be pulling for. Her. Then there's the Genshin Impact one here, which I have. Which I like how there's a tie here. Be for first place between Arlequino and Raiden May, which by the way, yes, when Raiden May's rerun comes out, I am saving up polls. I am going to be pulling for her, not Kanich. I'm going to be pulling for the Raiden Shogun, A, right? Obviously, you guys aren't going to see that. I don't make Genshin Impact videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, and yeah, it's like honestly, these cut these. I'll put them both next to each other right now. These come as no surprise to me. What also comes as no surprise to me is the bottom three least favorites, because you no doubt have heard me talking about this in videos and how much I hate these characters. We got Argenti, Jade, and Auto Apocalypse. I hate them all. I, I hate them all. And you can clearly see here that even though I hate Jade, I, I don't hate her as much as Auto Apocalypse. Not after Honkai Impact 3rd. I, I don't trust any version of Auto Apocalypse after Honkai Impact 3rd. Not Laucha. Not the version of him in Genshin Impact. None of them. Absolutely none of them. Oh. Yes, 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 give me those. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Come on. 
Oh yeah, I also off-screen did all of these <laughs> to get as many primo gems. Not primo gems. Primo gems. <laughs> to get as many. What the hell are these things called? Polychrome. I could never fucking remember that. All the polychrome possible, dude. All these should be done. Yep. Okay. Recommended level 22. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. As you can see, I changed up my team slightly because I got this guy while pulling for um. Jane and I actually kind of like his playstyle. So I switched out her for Seth here. So instead of being mainly fire, now I actually have some other types here. That does come with the side effect of not having this though. I love this endless music, dude. But actually, no. Uh, let me correct myself there. The target companion hollow. Several bio signals have been detected in the area. Okay, fire, fairy. <laughs> okay, fairy. Um, let me correct myself there. Zenless zone music has actually been hit and miss for me. Like some of it I like, some of it I don't like. You know? So the like. Rescue target may be among them. <laughs> oh, wonderful. count out from set. Prepare to face judgment. Found Bell. Sick officer. Where could Bell be? No remaining bio signals detected in this area. Bell does not appear to be trapped here. Suggestion: find an exit and evacuate the survivors. Gathering all survivors together. Please wait. Trains are still operating in the area ahead. Everyone, stay close to me and don't get hit. Hey, right, one. Oh god. Don't get hit. Get out of the way. I fucked it. Man, I suck. Let's get reorganized and head back out. Okay, there we go. We're good now. There you go. You guys are good. But I kind of need those. <laughs> I cannot turn back. I wonder if it was going. Okay, so we're still looking for Bell. That's not good. What's going on over here, though? Anything there? Give me that, give me that. Yes, 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 yes. Which, by the way, just, just uh, as a great example <laughs> of how bad my luck is, right? 
So, the most recent update to Genshin Impact, the Natlan update, right? They actually changed the odds from 50-50 to 60-40, right? 60% that you actually get the character you're pulling for. 40% you weren't. You won't get it, right? I pulled a 5-star on Kazuha's banner, right? I lost the 40%. Uh... <laughs> Why do I always lose? <laughs> Like, the only time I ever, like, have, like, a decent enough chance, right, is when it's, like, 75-25. <laughs> it's, like, honestly fucking stupid how bad my luck is. I, I will give Mihoyo this, right? <laughs> I will give Mihoyo this, right? Um, despite this being like the most arguably cramped um, hub world in any of their games so far, right? Because of the fact that there's like constantly NPCs walking around, stuff going on on the streets and stuff, right? It feels genuinely more alive than any other Mihoyo. <laughs> um, hub worlds or open worlds like i really like it i really like just um do, while i'm doing my daily it's just um strolling past the other npc is just strolling around and stuff it's nice i love when games do that like actually like make the world feel lived in stuff i can do more hard stuff i'll be doing that off screen <laughs> Even if I get Jane, I'm gonna be doing that. Jade? Fuck no. Even if I get Jane? <laughs> it's not my fault. The only difference between the names are an N and a D. <laughs> if I, even if I get Jane, I'm still gonna do it. That way I could save up for her, um, whatever her name is. That, uh. Fox girl, whatever, with the katana, with the katana and the little ghost thing next to her. Um, she was in the last episode and stuff, right? Ever since I saw that character in like the first teaser trailer essentially in one of the first ever like trailers and teaser stuff for Zen the Zone, I was like, I want that character. I want that character, 100%. Hold on, just a so I need to um, save up for that. <laughs> you know, I need to save up for it. Oh! We have to avoid it. You should have told me that beforehand. I fought two of you guys at the same time as in the hard mode thing. You asked for it. This is nothing. One of you is nothing. I fought two of you at the same fucking time. Round and round like a few days ago. You can handle just no one of you. Wow, would you look at that? You're dead already. Well, we found Bell, and we got more Polychrome. Honestly, that's the more important thing here. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I like Bell. Another bowl, please. Coming up. Slow down. No one's fighting for it. So what? I'm hungry after being stuck in that hollow for so long. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> awesome. <sighs> Even though I dropped our new stock in the hollow. The customers will probably be disappointed, having no new movies. <laughs> sure you don't mean you'll be disappointed? I guess that means we'll have to go restock tomorrow. And this time, you can choose. Uh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I've got some good news Why does it look like he needs some sleep? Documentary, right? Wise looks like so, he needs some sleep. You did a pretty dude. good job of recording, right? Isn't this just footage of the rescue operation? So what? It's got a 
real basis, just like a documentary, with a shaky camera and fairies editing. It combines exciting battles with an emotional rescue operation. Let's put it on the shelf tomorrow. Jesus Christ, I don't... Love it. No way, it's far too flashy. Mm, not getting shy on me, are I, you? I'm not. I'm serious, dude. Even though the um, recent, like, Genshin Impact, Natlin, um, cutscenes have been by far, like, some of the best Genshin has done lately, I almost forget sometimes just how high the fucking budget is for Zenless <laughs> with these fucking animations, dude. It's like, Jesus Christ. I'm trying to leave this on screen long enough for you guys to read it because I ain't reading it out loud. Okay, let's get some more polychrome and then we're gonna go into another poll. And I swear to god, if I lose a 50-50, I might uninstall this game. I'm sadly not even joking. Why, why does it have to be exactly 69 left over? Oh... Uh, what the fuck? Why does it have to be exactly fucking 69? Oy vey. What? What the hell is that? Oh, I can pass the time now? Oh, I have DMs. <laughs> Keep going. Right, what are you playing on that phone there? <laughs> Murder and storytelling. Again, don't really well, care. You're here. We need to talk about two important issues today. Which the words? first issue is our income and expenses for the month. Oh, fucking wonderful. Bro, you know me. Talking about things like bills and expenses gives me a headache. <laughs> Don't make that face. I know this may seem trivial, but we need to make a living here on 6th Street. We can't just run away from money-related problems. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before. No change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet, Fairy. And you're the next issue. <clears throat> because of Fairy, our electricity bill this month is five times higher. <laughs> Fairy, what are we missing here? Explain yourself. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. <laughs> now she starts pretending to be some brainless AI. Thanks to her, the HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's gone up. <laughs> no. Well, this month's mortgage payment is gonna be a struggle. That's true. But even at times like this, you can't take risks just because you need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a lucrative commission on the proxy network just now. The other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that will be contacted privately. Pitch. Our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So wanting to contact us in secret seems strange. The client may have some ulterior motive, and there's been a lot of scammers using the proxy network recently. Wonderful. I wish there was some way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous. User info is highly classified. All right, fairy. Possible. <laughs> Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. <laughs> its user avatar is a low resolution ground photo with no clear subject. 
The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the old Capital Metro renovation project. Oh? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was planning, they held another bid, and Bellabog Industries took over the rights to the project. Yeah. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. Okay. And timely. Let's have a watch. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Hey, no! hey kids, it's Bang Boom Nose time again! Yay! So, who's our guest I today? Hate this. <laughs> We're on air, Leon! Leave your silly dreamland! It's time to bring in today's guest! No need to. I'm already here. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest. Mr. Anton from Bella Something Industries. I said I'm already here. And it's Bellabog. Bellobog. Bellabog Industries. So, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro Reconstruction Proposals of Bellobog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. How are children supposed to understand such a complicated topic? In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. They have independently developed heavy-duty smart construction machines. Oh, says, yeah, I hate this. That can effectively I think I'm just gonna. Uh... Thanks to compared to vision. Uh, is Bella using? Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good. But people still manage to find their dirty laundry. I wonder how much trouble this metro renovation project is going to stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. Okay. They contacted us? Positive. I detect some threatening words in the message. It's wonderful. Please allow me to read it aloud. Huh? Threatening words? Faithen. We need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. They said faith in, by the way. The next time you mention a threat, Please remember to specify who's being threatened. Hmm. Judging from their message, the client must really be in trouble. They sounded pretty serious. Yeah, but they also mentioned faith in this and faith but in asking my... to meet in person is somewhat suspicious. They want to meet in person at five o'clock in the morning and without offering any info at all on the proxy network. Hmm. Wait, the first yep. line in the message. Faithen, we need you. Yep. I don't recall ever mentioning our identity as Faithen on this account. How would they know? Master, the client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internaut account has received the corresponding payment. This meeting is very likely to be a trap, Bell. Choosing the money in this situation could cost us our lives. Perhaps you can have Fairy return the client's deposit? Master. The amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Uh, Do you wish to return this deposit? Wait, how much did you say? 1.1 <laughs> times the previous month's total income. So, maybe I 
should go check things out. After all, um, you know. Maybe we should also, I don't know, just to be safe, carry some sort of actual, like, defense on us. Didn't we agree to avoid risking our lives for money? Or maybe, like, have Billy or someone accompany us? <laughs> well, you insist. You can pretend to be a jogger early tomorrow morning and take a look. It's almost time for the meeting. Are you ready to go? My taser is charged. I can imagine you using it, but I hope you won't need to. Take care. Fairy and I will be standing by to offer support. Am I just stupid or I always forget the tasers need to actually be charged? <laughs> I always fucking forget that. Oh, would you look who it is? caused a small commotion that big guy ahead right let's get closer and have a listen do you not recognize me from the fucking without my bro around i don't know if i can do this no 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 there's only one word in a bro's dictionary determination oh <laughs> that make for a very thin dictionary whatever they'll be here soon then i'd go for it if my bro were here he'd say this guy does seem rather shady searching for Suspicious person and talking to master the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16-5 on shelf 3 section H Section H Isn't that the one with the old civilization thrillers? We've never cared for movie title frightful fracture treacherous dawn It tells each time a victim falls into mm -hmm. the trap Yo found you Check this out! Whoa! Hey! Watch where you're swinging that taser! It could be dangerous! Sorry about that! I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're faithin, right? Mm -hmm. Bell, this guy looks familiar. Really? <laughs> Wait, wasn't he the guest on Bang Boo Knows yesterday? That's right! I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithin, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way, we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. I guess a good way to stay confidential on both ends is making sure both the people involved know who each other are. Therefore, they could promise not to reveal who the other person is because if they reveal who the other person is the other person can just reveal who they are <laughs> you know so it's like yeah i can't can't i can't argue with you but before we get to the commission tell us how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours <laughs> sorry i can't reveal that uh. but our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy faithin and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. I didn't expect such praise from Nicole. She thinks too much of us. <laughs> You're too modest. The cunning hairs highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah, that that was. Huh? Wait. How did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? Uh, we didn't <laughs> until you just confirmed. I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. Of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? <sighs> right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. You want to head out this early? How are you not sleepy? Actually... 
I've been meaning to ask why you chose this time for our meeting. Uh, it's too early for you? Anyone working construction has already started their shift at this hour. If we're going on a field trip, we need to make some preparations. Why don't you go with my sister and wait by the parking lot? She can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift then. Okay then. And in terms of your president, don't don't don't, don't worry. I already know the president. I already know the president of Bella Fuck Industries. Okay, I've literally been using her since practically day one of this game being of me playing this game. So, yeah. Like she was my first uh, S rank. Clearly, she's my only S rank. <laughs> you know? yeah, she's my first S rank. And will most likely get replaced very quickly. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't have all day to waste, let's open another, like, uh... Five-ish hours of recording to do. We're almost there. Our president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a I real beast. Stay. So it's okay if you're nervous. Aren't you supposed to say, don't be nervous? Hey, hey guys. What have you done now? Ah, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kid. You just get it so cool up again. It won't hurt. Looks like that's it. Sorry I was late. Yeah, don't like this guy. Beast, huh? Don't like this, this guy either. This is Bella Box boss? No. Uh, hello? Oh, hello there, Miss Proxy. Sorry you had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Oh. So, you're not the... Uh... What are you doing, Grace? Put me oh. down! Huh. I said put me down this Allow me to introduce our president. <laughs> not the lag, not the lag. Yeah, she's incredibly young. <laughs> Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. How, how this person became, uh, how this, like, actual child became the president of Bellamog Industries is beyond me. <laughs> we got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Mm -hmm. Where's Grace? <laughs> Anton might have already mentioned our company has taken over the Metro project, but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Miss Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crunch have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the Proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secret. Can you tell me more about these enemies? This may be helpful in my proxy work later on. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But, since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. Of course. And first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before okay. trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV. As if all that wasn't bad enough. During all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. The last oh, there she is. Went missing in a hollow. That's Easy not good. Easy there, Grace. 
You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? I heard about them on a TV show. Wait, so the missing children were... machines? Yeah. Exactly. Our competitive edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. Listen, okay, Grace calls all the machines she makes for children. Not only can they also, effectively Jesus resist God. corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. I've always taken care of them, and I'm the one who improved upon the prototypes so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for their routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Sounds like the logic core malfunctioning? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. I would assume not. When things go wrong involving Bellbog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core. Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. We okay. already have the rough location of two of them. Okay. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton. I'll ask Grace. <laughs> Because, like, just, just a quick heads up here, right? This right here, the selectable agent right there, right? Yeah, how it says the selectable agent there. Trying to remember how you access that. All right, the selectable agent here. As you can see, <laughs> clearly I have a certain one selected here, and clearly I have not gotten it. Uh, it looks like I need to talk to all of them anyway. Might as well get the most annoying over with first, I guess. Oh, oh, thank God, there's no voice dialogue from him. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I, I think I'm just gonna skip this for you guys. So I'll, I'll see you when we get to actually interesting stuff. Okay, so welcome back, and I just checked the main menu screen. Apparently, I'm in chapter 2 now. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, in chapter 2. <laughs> How long has it been since this game came out, and I'm just now getting into chapter 2? What's over here? Oh, more. Okay. Who, who cares? <coughs> I'll do that on my own time. Alright. This is it. This is where the signal came from. 
That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. <laughs> Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand. <gasps> it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought okay. the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. I fucking hate the laptop's constant updates. <laughs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. When you used to be so cute when you were little. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing <laughs> I was, up, right? I, I was considering saying that and stuff, right? And I was thinking it. It's like, so let me get this straight, Grace. Um, your your mechanical children are going through their rebellious phase. <laughs> Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Uh -huh. I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious <laughs> beasts. Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying <laughs> prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old. Jeez. Calm down, Grace. It's still just a child. Proxy, we have to find it quickly. <laughs> I just hope it isn't too late. I fucking love Grace. Detecting heavy machinery signal. Sinking location data. The target signal is still active. It's currently. Huh? What's it doing? Well, let's go take a look down everything's fine besides look aren't we right by our target <sighs> just don't be so reckless next time all right here we go oh wonderful this looks about to storm outside it's great Why can I hear a girl's voice? Uh, up there! So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. White! Oh, it's only been a couple of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> uh, take it easy now, Grace. But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? Walter. <laughs> it's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! The boring machine oh, yeah. somehow awakens this amazing power. Now's not the time for fangirling. Focus on dealing with it. Jesus. Why is nearly everything in the blind like No, no. I dodged. Bullshit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stand still. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, but I can't really do this. It's raining outside. It's pouring outside. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. White. I got too excited. <laughs> Mr. White! Hang in there, Mr. White! The impact just now. It cut through the load-bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! It's all my fault! Oh, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell! She knows nothing about <laughs> Oh, that's... Lift up your head and look around. <gasps> Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. <laughs> I'm going back with you. <laughs> you were just saying? <laughs> Juliet. Are you joking me? <laughs> Jeez, it just started pouring out of nowhere outside. Okay, I I'm, I'm gonna quickly just go bring my dog's food inside before it gets soaked. Criminology special. Oh, Jay. fuck yes. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. I just did a single pull. Uh, finally, finally, I got a fucking S rank that I was pulling for. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank fucking God, I don't have to spend money. <laughs> oh my God, thank God, I don't have to spend any fucking money. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. What's the new one here? Okay, I'm, 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 sti I'm sticking to my Billy stuff. <laughs> By the way, that is the coolest fucking name tag I think I've ever had in a game. Standing by. I have so cool. Ready for come. Hey. Time for some. Right there. <laughs> my research subject. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, what the fuck did she say? You wanna my ham? Okay. Hmm, which alias should I use this time? Okay, this might take me a little bit, guys, so I'll, I'll just see when I have her fully, like, fully leveled up. Okay, hi, okay, hi guys, uh, welcome back. I just, like, okay, so in, in the span of, like, a couple minutes, <laughs> um... Jane has become the most built up character I have. <laughs> and by that I mean she's like the only character so far where I've actually upgraded her skills as well. Just because I could at the time. I normally don't look at that. That's like my last. That's like the last thing I always upgrade is the skills. 
It's outside the construction site, and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. I think after I complete this mission, though, I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. You're in good hands. I'll make sure your commission fee is well spent. You know, I think after this mission, I'll <laughs> the call the end of the video. did mention that you excel at everything, including making sure you're generously compensated. Yes. Yes. Anyway, let me tell you about the grappler first. The Grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. Just a sec, guys. All right, I'm back. Hopefully, I don't have to leave again. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh. The main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over oh. and over again, day <laughs> after day. Uh, <laughs> what's the guy's name again? I, I know that. What's the, what's the guy's name again? What the hell? S Sisyphus? Maybe? I don't know. No, I, I can't remember what's called. This is just my humble opinion, but our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Did that monotonous highly work. possible. Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. The the no that the man in the story that is, that is a punishment. He was punished to be constantly rolling a boulder uphill. That that is a punishment. <laughs> People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after backbreaking training day after day. All right, dude. Let's see how let let's see how long you. Let's see how long you enjoy it if you had to be pushing a boulder up a steep fucking mountain 24-7. <laughs> every day, every every second of every day of every year for the next eternity. <laughs> Let's see how you like it. it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow, becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel. I was said before that I don't like Anton. I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer him on. That's Anton for you. Such speeches are how he motivates people at the start of each new project. Let's be off. Our priority now speech. is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me. Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. Let's go, bro. Anton, don't rush off on your own. I don't think it's happy to see us. Alright, here we go. Boss fight.
right? Right, it would be a boss fight, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, my pursuers are finally here. I've been waiting. Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality. His installed voice was nothing like this. Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you. No, he's just developing an identity. You know, that's not a problem with those Don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine. I'm a real bro, fearless and unchilding. A real bro? You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Oh, look who's talking. The answer is simple then. Let's battle. One on one. How about three on one? A battle of real bros! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That better take things seriously! Don't underestimate me! Witness my power! I think we won. <laughs> An opening. Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast. He's trying to escape. <laughs> you may have made quite the effort tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you. So give up now and admit defeat. I'm a real bro. And these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever. Fair. <laughs> I hate that though when people are like, listen, just admit defeat while they are running away. It's like, bitch, <laughs> Wait, you were the one running. We can work this out. If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereal. Just come back with us, heavy duty grappler Han. Silence. Don't call me by that basic name. It's totally not my vibe. Okay. Grace, why did you install the fucking teenage update? A real bro should pick his own name. Powerful. Total beast! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... Uh, uh, what, what's happening? The Ethereals we warned uh, you about. The Ethereals, stop! Let go of me! Woe is me! It looks like my brief existence has come to an end. You just said you were a real bro. How far your faith in yourself goes? You... Why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Hey, 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 hey. Anton, my brother! Okay. What's going on? It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you to learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine, Hans! So, you're still called Hans? 
Yes. <laughs> but it sounds cooler before it. Maybe. No, seriously though, Grace, why the f Welcome back, Bell. Bellabog contacted us just now. They said they're going to send the first two machines to get serviced. Then text us once Ben has the rough location of the pile driver. Sounded like it shouldn't take them too terribly long to find the pile driver. But it won't be instantaneous either. If that's the case, you might as well go kill some time while we wait. Okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call it the end of this video here. Uh, why is it 69 again? <laughs> I'm gonna call it the end of this video here. So we've, I have finally progressed into chapter two of this story. You wanna test my wanna and I have Jane. <laughs> research subject. So everything's great. <laughs> Oh, Bienna, so that's the end of this episode. I, I, pre I practically explained everything earlier on in this episode, so there's no need for me to explain it a lot here. So I'm just going to actually wrap this up quickly this time. So yeah, uh, Ignatius, Vera Cognitius, I'll see you next week.